Now, when I preach like this, they say, you see that? He don't preach out of love. The hypocritical form of love that's coming from these man-made churches, they want you to sound like Joel Austin, a cotton candy preacher. Yeah. Joel Austin, the pastor of Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, and a prominent figure in the prosperity gospel movement, has faced multiple controversies throughout his career. Among the most notable incidents were his church's response during Hurricane Harvey in 2017 and a scandal involving stolen donations. These events sparked widespread criticism and raised questions about the responsibilities of religious leaders and the integrity of large donation-driven organization. The theft of $600,000 from Lakewood Church's safe was a shocking event for the congregation and the broader community. The money, comprising both cash and checks collected during weekend services, was discovered missing during a routine audit. The revelation that such a large sum of money could disappear without immediate detection suggested potential weaknesses in the church's security and financial oversight mechanisms. There was a loose toilet in the wall, and uh, we removed the tile. Well, they removed the tile. I uh, went to go remove the toilet, and I moved some insulation away, and uh, about 500 envelopes fell out of the wall. The theft garnered significant media attention, with local and national outlets covering the story extensively. Critics and supporters alike were vocal in their opinions. Some saw the incident as indicative of broader systemic issues within megachurches, particularly those espousing the prosperity gospel. They argued that the focus on financial success and large-scale operations could lead to vulnerabilities and mismanagement. Supporters of Lakewood Church and Joel Austin, on the other hand, defended the institution, emphasizing that theft could happen in any large organization and that the church was a victim of a crime. They pointed to the church's charitable work and the positive impact of Austin's ministry as evidence of their overall integrity and good intentions. Now, there was a push to get that plumber some reward money after that incredible fine, but Crime Stopper says that the expiration for the tips had already passed uh, and that if you are to hand over a tip, it must lead to an arrest and end as of right now. The scandal resurfaced in late 2021 when a plumber discovered envelopes filled with cash and checks hidden in a wall while performing repairs at Lakewood Church. The revelation reignited media interest and public concern leading to questions about how such a large sum of money could go missing without detection for so long. The discovery of the stolen donations highlighted potential lapses in financial oversight and security within Lakewood Church. Critics argued that the incident underscored a lack of transparency and accountability in how the church handled its finances. The situation prompted calls for an independent audit to ensure that donations were being managed responsibly and that similar incidents would not occur in the future. Joel Austin and the church leadership faced intense scrutiny as they worked to address the concerns raised by the scandal. In public statements, they expressed gratitude for the recovery of the funds and emphasized that measures had been taken to improve financial security and oversight. However, the incident added to the perception of mismanagement and raised further doubts about the church's handling of donor contributions. Hundreds of evacuees are now making their way inside the Osteen Houston megachurch. This is yesterday afternoon. But there's been a lot of critics for Pastor Osteen saying that that church should have welcomed victims much sooner. In August 2017, Hurricane Harvey struck Texas, causing unprecedented flooding and damage, particularly in the Houston area. As thousands of residents were displaced from their homes and sought refuge, Joel Osteen and Lakewood Church found themselves at the center of a public relations storm. Lakewood Church, a former sports arena capable of seating 16,000 people, seemed an ideal location to serve as a shelter for those affected by the hurricane. However, in the initial days following the disaster, the church's doors remained closed. Social media erupted with criticism as photos circulated showing the church apparently undamaged and accessible, leading to accusations that Austin and his church were turning their backs on the community in its time of need. The church has always been open. We, we, our doors, we received, we received uh, shelter victims just the first day or two, but there was a time, Chris, that the place was flooded. That's, that's not a true statement, people that say that. The backlash was swift and severe. Critics accused Austin of hypocrisy pointing out that a church preaching prosperity and generosity should be leading by example in providing aid during a crisis. 
Prominent figures in the media and the public alike expressed their disappointment and outrage. In response to the criticism, Austin initially claimed that the church was inaccessible due to severe flooding around the property. However, this explanation was met with skepticism as photos and videos taken by local residents showed that the church's facilities were, in fact, accessible. The church then released a statement saying that they had not opened as a shelter initially because they were awaiting direction from city officials and had concerns about the safety and accessibility of the building. Eventually, Lakewood Church did open its doors to evacuees setting up as a distribution center for supplies and offering shelter to those in need. Austin and his staff emphasized their efforts to help the community, but the damage to their reputation had already been done. The delayed response was seen as a failure to act in a timely and compassionate manner, and the incident left a lasting mark on Austin's public image. The controversy surrounding Joel Austin and Lakewood Church during Hurricane Harvey and the stolen donation scandal serve as cautionary tales about the responsibilities of religious leaders and the importance of transparency and accountability in large religious organizations. For Austin, the Hurricane Harvey incident highlighted the critical role of timely and effective crisis response. As a prominent religious leader, his actions, or lack thereof, during a disaster were seen as a reflection of his ministry's values. The delayed opening of Lakewood Church as a shelter was viewed as a failure to live up to the principles of compassion and generosity that Austin preached. The stolen donation scandal, on the other hand, underscored the need for rigorous financial oversight and security measures within religious organizations. The fact that such a large sum of money could go missing for years without detection pointed to significant gaps in the church's financial management practices. This incident reinforced the importance of transparency and accountability in maintaining trust with congregants and donors. A question is when you repent of your sins, That's it. been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. And you follow, you follow, That's right. you follow. Who repeat to God the doctrine of the apostles. That's right. Otherwise, in that, you're no more a Christian than a duck can roll dice and take hens <laughs> back home with them. Amen. You got the, you might as well come on back to Bible. That's what I'm telling the world. Oh, come yeah. back to Bible. Oh, yeah. If you're not going to do this right, stay home and stop going to church. That's right. In the wake of these controversies, Joel Osteen and Lakewood Church faced the challenge of rebuilding trust and restoring their reputation. For Austin, this meant taking concrete steps to improve crisis response protocols and demonstrating a commitment to community service and support. The church's eventual efforts to assist those affected by Hurricane Harvey, while delayed, were an important part of this process. On the financial front, Lakewood Church needed to implement stricter oversight and security measures to prevent future incidents of theft and mismanagement. By conducting independent audits and being transparent about their financial practices, the church could work to rebuild trust with its congregation and donors. These steps were crucial in demonstrating that Lakewood Church was committed to ethical leadership and responsible stewardship of donations. For Austin, it was also an opportunity to reflect on his ministry's values and priorities, ensuring that they aligned with the teachings of compassion, generosity, and service to others. The scandals involving Joel Osteen and Lakewood Church during Hurricane Harvey and the stolen donations incident provide important lessons about the responsibilities of religious leaders and the need for transparency and accountability in religious organizations. These events underscore the critical role of timely and effective crisis response, as well as the importance of rigorous financial oversight. For Joel Osteen, the challenges posed by these controversies offered an opportunity for growth and reflection. By addressing the criticisms head-on and taking steps to improve his ministry's practices, Austin could work to restore trust and integrity within his congregation and the broader community. Ultimately, these incidents serve as a reminder of the high standards to which religious leaders are held and the importance of living up to the values they preach. Through accountability, transparency, and a renewed commitment to serving others, religious organizations can navigate crises and work to rebuild trust with their followers.